Captain's report, February 4th, 2531. Five years. Five long years. That's how long it took us to get Harvest back. Go, go, go! First it was going well, then setback after setback. Loss after loss. Made what was going to be a quick and decisive win. Into five years of hell. Of course, that's all Harvest is today. It's hell down there. But now it's ours again. Welcome to Halo Wars, folks. The earliest kind of point in the Halo timeline, you know, game wise. Here we are in 2531. You guys remember it's 2552 is the yep it's 20 years before the first halo game so this is the early years of the covenant war it just shows you like it's just so wild like to see like how far or like how long it's been going on for honestly set of characters to get used to. Standard orbit achieved. All systems normal. Prep for pod launches. Bring weapon systems online. Expecting trouble, Captain? Harvest may be ours again, but I don't think the Covenant appreciate that yet. Sergeant Forge, report. Definitely plenty of bad guys down here, Captain. And they found something in the ice. Damn it. That complicates our mission. Anders, what have you got? Captain. Scans of the northern polar region show some interesting Covenant activity on the surface. There's some kind of structure down there. What do you think they're looking for? That's what we're here to find out. We're to bring Alpha Base up to operational status and take control of that site. I'll get my equipment ready, Captain. Lady, there's no way you're coming down here on the first burn. Sergeant Forge, pull back to Alpha Base. I'm sending you some backup. Roger that. Forge out. So, nothing too difficult then? It might be the key to this whole war, Serena. It's worth the risk. So as I said again, this is the earliest point in the uh, the Halo timeline game-wise. At least I'm pretty sure this is the earliest, you know, game. Um, so way before the events of you know Halo, Cortana, I don't think he's even born yet. Master Chief does exist though, because in this game we uh, kind of play around with Red Team. Well, you know Chief and Linda and all of them were part of Blue Team. So we still have Spartan Twos, like the Spartan Two program still went on and everything. So we're not too too far back. And yeah, so obviously you can see right off the bat, it's very different. Gameplay wise, we're pinned down over here. Smash them. Local units, all units. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, I, I forget what this type of like gameplay is called, but it's you know, top down, like we were the first out, sir. Fucking not an RPG, but it's like a strategy game. We're taking Alpha back. Let's move. Like, you build bases, build units, and you have to take out enemy bases and take over the battlefield. Let's roll. Uh, I remember originally this was such like, a weird point, like, for Halo, like, even story-wise. Let's try to ram this thing. So a lot of people were kind of eh, like, on it. But it is canon and part of the story. 
I was hesitant at first to uh, do this, but Halo, because it didn't really uh, like deal with the main storyline. It didn't really focus on anything like that, you know, like with Chief or Cortana or like the Forerunners, like where the story was going. But given what happens in Halo Wars 2, uh, a whole lot changes to where it's, you know, not to spoil too much, but these characters will become, you know, a lot more relevant in the in the near future of Halo. So, I, I did uh, record Halo Wars before this one, or Halo Wars 2, before recording this one, so recording this a little backwards, and then, you know, once this is out, or uh, once, you know, I'm done recording this, I'll be able to upload it, and then uh, we're going to upload Halo t Wars 2. And then, yeah, so then we're going to be all caught up, caught up with Halo. You know, I was going to, I was thinking about putting some stuff in between, like the, the Halo stuff. But given how close Halo Infinite is actually coming up, since like the flight just came out uh, somewhat recently, you know, the beta and all that kind of stuff, figured, uh, you know, we should probably finish up the story. So we'll finish up Halo Wars and... You know, doing the earliest part in the Halo series, and then jump to Halo Wars 2, which is the latest part in the series. Don't worry, cavalry's here. It's hard to uh, talk and think and stuff with you know everybody talking every five seconds, but that's why subtitles are there, so you guys can also pay attention to that. But yeah, so I was like, sorry if I flubbed up my words, but doing the earliest game, last game. Timeline wise. Out. And Halo well Halo Wars 2 did come out the latest, so out. it all works out. Blah blah blah. Get this thing down and we'll come and run it. Units. Let's go. Standing by. Target the power source. Get some. Uh, we're just gonna destroy that. That thing is too strong. Use grenades! There we go. Barriers down! Let's do this, gentlemen! Open fire! You gotta clear the base. Okay. Air support en route, Sergeant. They'll take out the armor. The rest is yours. Short sword inbound. Boom. There goes that. Bombs away. Also, that grunt kill thing, I think, is for is like a second, like an optional objective. I know there's like a, um, an optional objective or something where you have to run over, like, all those grunts, which is, like, almost impossible. Kind of depends on the difficulty you're at, is how many grunts spawn. Okay, you guys run them over. You run them over. You're getting a little crazy. Forge is almost dead. Target. All units. Yeah, just kill him. And there's these last guys over here. Smash them. Run him over. Or don't. Running them over. There we go. Nice. And there's a, a secret over here. Oh, but mission over. <laughs> That's level one. Spirit of fire, this is Forge. Area clear. Situation normal. Orders. Alpha base is ours again. Sergeant Forge, you may want to scout the area. Yep. So that was the end of Mission 1. Sorry for talking over most of it, but I mean, just wanted to do a quick little introduction. Halo Wars, earliest part of the timeline. Uh, we are under the control of the Spirit of Fire, which is one of the, you know, UNSC ships similar to the Pillar of Autumn and stuff like that. So it's kind of like a command ship. Uh, we had this whole new fun, like, little cast of characters to get used to. We got Captain Cutter. We got Anders, who's the scientist. Serena, who's like our new, court, or our new slash old Cortana. Uh, we got Sergeant Forge, who's like Johnson, so... Got all these cool people. 
uh, I will warn, this game will be getting very frustrating for me, because I just know there's levels coming up that will, that have plagued me for years, since, uh, you know, it's one of those things, but either way, thank you so much for watching, and, you know, it's a little quick, but catch you next time.